Good evening and welcome to the Arabic television variety talk show. I'm Saad Asfour, your host. My very special guest this evening is Raman Osman. Raman, he is Kurdish musician and composer. He is from Syria. He have BA degree in translation from Damascus University. He moved to the Bay Area from Syria three and a half years ago, and he started playing music at age 10. He sings in Kurdish and Arabic. Raman performs in many venues back in Syria and here in California. Welcome to the show, Raman. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Uh, Raman, uh, I see you holding this beautiful instrument, which I this is my very first time. I'll be honest with you, it's my very first time I see it. Okay. And uh, first of all, can you give us a little history about it? What is it called? I think in Arabic it's buzuk, but in English it has more than one name, saz and tempura. And what do you name it? What do you call it? And how how is this used? Okay, this is. Uh we uh, could, we, we, we call it tambour or tambura, or it's known like internationally as saz. But tambura came from the, the ancestor. So we have the, the real tambura, it's smaller, the same shape, with the, but it's smaller, uh, less frets, less strings. Mm -hmm. And it goes back 5,000 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Especially in, That's we amazing. call it East Kurdistan, which is in Iran now. Okay. And they play it, especially in jamming, uh, okay. like Sufi music. Oh. Just, and they, like, even they uh, consider it as a sacred instrument. They don't Ooh. play it anywhere else. Nice. This instrument is like something developed from that instrument. And, and I believe all string instruments may be developed from that uh, instrument. Okay. So now it's known as saz. Uh, it's big, bigger than the original tambour. Mm -hmm. uh, we Kurds, especially the Kurds in northern Kurdistan and western Kurdistan, play uh, this instrument very popular. popular How about version. India? Do they use that to the They they have in something similar, not the same one, but similar. Definitely in India, even in China, in Afghanistan, in Iran. In Iran, they have something similar to tambour. The original one, they call it uh, uh, satar. Okay. Okay, and they have tar. So it's all with the same, like, uh, have strings, frets, and they play it either, uh, either with their hand, with their uh, fingers, or with uh, a pick. Okay. So uh, is the tempura plays melody, or is it rather support with other instruments? Most of the time, it plays the melody okay. the, and um, most, mostly solos, you know. So, but it depends. It depends on the song, on the uh, arrangement that yeah. the musician Yeah, I'm, I'm very used to see the oud and the guitar, yeah. especially the oud in Arabic music, we see mm. the oud often. Yeah. And so what's the difference between this and the oud and why this is, has the long neck? I see this is like three feet or so. Yeah, so every, every instrument has its like uh, special design. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, 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 it goes back when, when first it, it's been designed by, uh, by the designer. I don't know why it's different from wood, but different sizes, different shapes gives different uh, like melodies Music, and uh -huh. even different sound. Okay. So um, this is longer, the neck is longer than wood's uh, neck and the body is smaller. Okay. So de de definitely, and uh, there is something else, the, the strings. The oud, most, mostly they have nylon uh, strings. This is mostly steel. And this doesn't have too many, I don't see. Uh, it has like uh, seven strings, seven. but on three sets. So oh, okay. we have three, two, two. Oh, okay. And we tune it different, uh, different tuning, you know, it depends on the, on the player. Yeah, uh, you know, perfect for me. I, I, I tune it like uh, what I call it like the free tuning. So, okay, okay, good. Depends. So, you were born in Syria. So, mm -hmm. what's the first song you want to play for us? I will uh, sing a Syrian song, okay, uh, which is very popular one called um, El Bulbul Naga from Aleppo. La Sabah Fakhir. Yeah, Sabah Fakhir sang it. Uh, Mu'assas yeah. al-Tarab. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so perfect. it's very beautiful Fadlan. one. Yeah, okay.
شحاد على باب الدار قالت له الحلو على الله اجى شحاد على باب الدار قالت له الحلو على الله قال انا ماني شحاد قال انا ماني شحاد واعطيني بوسه دخيل الله في عيني واعطيني إلا ستة على النفع إجا المحبوب صرنا سبعة كنا ستة على النبع إجا المحبوب صرنا سبعة طلبوا سمع ضيتو طلبوا سمع ضيتو قلت له حرام يوم الجمعة يا عيني قلت له حرام يوم الجمعة قلت له حرام يوم الجمعة يا عيني الله يخلي لك الصوت كثير حلو شكرا رمان انت فروم يو ار فروم كردش رايت؟ يا ام كردش يو ار كردش اند يو ار بورن ان سوريا ورايت ناو ذير از ا فايوليشن فروم ذا تركي جفرمنت اجينست كردش بيبول سبيشلي وذ ذا هيومن رايتس اند ذاتس فيري ان اكسبتبل So how does how much co pain that costs you, and what are you doing about it? Uh, how much does it make you feel like you wanna sing more? How is it related to your music? You know, uh, Suad, it's 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 nothing new. Uh, we have this uh, kind of oppression from the Turkish government and from all over the governments that like ruling the Kurdish people. A uh, long long time ago. So we get used to it, but now uh, uh, they are uh, besieging uh, the whole cities, killing civilians on a, a daily base, basis and without any mercy, without any legal like uh, even uh, excuses, you know, they don't, they don't have anything. They just, it's, it's just racism, racism. They, they hate anything about the Kurds, about the Kurdish culture. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they had in the past a decree in the constitution. It's, it's illegal if you speak in Kurdish, even in, ah. in your own, own home. So uh, a lot of discriminations. Now things a little bit changed, but now we, we are saying the, my people are being killed all over the Kurdish cities. Mm -hmm. And even, even in the Turkish cities like Istanbul, Izmir, Ankara, they, they have a lot of discrimination there. Uh, it affects me a lot, mm -hmm. definitely, not just me, all the Kurdish people, and I, I believe all human beings all, all over the world. Yeah. Sure. So because it's, it's such uh, like atrocities, you know. Okay, and so what video. will you sing now to express your love and your pain for your country? Uh, you know, we have many songs in Kurdish. Um, there is a, a song about <laughs> being a stranger, like okay. being very far away from oh. uh, your home. Okay. Uh, so I probably won't understand it, but I'm sure I'm going to like the music. Okay, I hope so. Go ahead.
Te durim levan çolan dünyanın bu yerinde Te durim levan çolan dünyanın bu yerinde Eribim o ezgaribim, eribim o ezgaribim Bravo, bravo. This sounds like it has a lot of meaning and a lot of feelings. Thank you. Well, I hope uh, the European Union will achieve some resolution in the region. Thank you, absolutely. Uh, and so when you sing, I noticed that you really get emotional and you put a lot of feeling into your mm -hmm. singing. What is the difference between speaking voice and singing voice? You know, there is difference because speaking voice, you use it like on daily basis mm -hmm. uh, just to communicate with people. But when singing, it's something different. You just not speak just your, with your tongue, you speak with your heart. Your feelings is yes. all your feelings came like come out. So uh, it's it's all about feeling, about senses, about memories, about about nature, about everything in the life. You know, mm -hmm. so we we can express it through our uh, not just singing, maybe even humming, any sound that comes out. Yeah, you know, just crying. And when, when somebody's listening to you singing, people can sense it because what comes out of the heart yeah. goes straight to the heart. Yeah, I, 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 I noticed that that many people, especially here in the United States, I have many friends like from all over the world. So when singing, uh, they, they don't know anything about the words. They don't understand it, but I feel that they, they're feeling it. 
they feeling the music they feeling uh, the senses the feeling everything about uh, the song about the melody that's great mm -hmm. that's great uh, let's go to the Iraqi music mm -hmm. do you like to sing Iraqi wow, as well? Uh, you know because uh, so I, uh, I am from the city of Al Hasaka it's uh, northeast so Syria, it's so it's on the border of uh, Turkish border and uh, Iraqi's border. Okay. So we used to listen to a lot of uh, songs, especially the Iraqi songs, and uh, especially I was uh, I listened a lot to uh, Nadim Ghazali. Okay. So he, he's one uh, one of the best. Yeah, I yeah, like I him Yeah, I used to, to listen to to him a lot. Uh, sure. So we had that Iraqi TV uh, uh -huh. in in in, uh, in Al Hasaka city. So. I, I, I would listen, uh, not just to him, Yas Khadar, uh, Fadl Awad, Kazim uh, Sahar, Kadim Sahar Sadu Jabar, Hamid Mansour, oh, yeah. all these guys. Good, they're, good. They're great. What are we going to hear Iraqi song tonight? <sighs> Iraqi, we are going to hear something from Nadum, Nadum Al Ghazali. <laughs> Well, this coming weekend is Valentine, yeah. Valentine Day. So we're going to go to Lebanon. Now we sang something from Syria, Iraq, and Kurdish. Yeah. Now we want something Lebanese. Yeah, Le Lebanon is, uh, has something special in my heart because uh, when I was in Syria, I used to to, uh, to watch Lebanese TV, you know, the Syrian one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Syrian TV, uh, like all over uh, like the, the Arab world, they, they, they run by, by the government and it, mm -hmm. it, the, state, the state TV. So it was uh, something boring, I couldn't. But I, I used to, to listen to or to watch uh, Lebanese TVs. What's your favorite uh, singer from Lebanon? Uh, singers, you know, they have a lot, but uh, definitely. 
Fairuz. A Sayyida Fairuz. Yeah, this okay. uh, she's something uh, special. She is. Yeah, no Majda doubt. Rumi. I love Majda Rumi too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Sabah, Wadi Asafi. Oh yeah, Allah Yerham Sabah. All all these guys, they they were perfect. So Fairuz, uh, we used to like when we wake up, just listen to Fairuz always. everywhere. <laughs> always, forever always. too. Yeah, so, so I will sing something for her son, uh, Ziad. He composed this uh, song. Ziad uh, Rahbani. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Ziad Rahbani and Fairuz sang it. Shuk da gramina. Uh, Sa'aluni na. Sa'aluni na. Okay. I also heard that you com you com you are a composer. You made some uh, pieces of music yeah, of started, your own. Definitely, I started with composing just music, instrumentals, like okay. without singing. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and wish everybody happy Valentine's weekend. Happy, happy and I wanna wish you happy Valentine. Definitely. I wanna thank, thank you. you for coming. And we're gonna leave thank you. Thank you for having me. Yep. Yeah, and we're going to leave you playing the rest of the time just your own music, okay. the one you made and you established. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs>